loving the two of you together in the dynamic. Shit's Creek, everyone's talking about it's they want more. Show. So good. Everyone's wondering if there's going to be a movie. Will we get so one? So am I. I'm wondering too. And if there is one, maybe this one could be a part of it. Yes, please. It's one of those movies where you definitely have to pop in as a character. You don't you don't mess up the, the chemistry of the cast. You don't right. come in and, you know, make it your world. You come in and, and be a guest in that world. But it's I was giving a compliment earlier. It's just they've done a fantastic job. The writing is great, but the the grounded reality that you guys have attached to those characters is mm -hmm. insane. So the, the cast truly does pop. You know, Thank you. Those my, shows work because of that. My character uh, at the end of the series did, ends up going to L.A. to really? do a show. Well, sounds She's like, writing the script. And Nicole Kidman's in it. Well. So I mean, maybe they could is, get Kevin this Hart. Is, this is honestly a big deal. This is a big deal. <laughs> now you're all excited. <laughs> now this is We got to have more, though. Things just got real. I have to ask you about this. Are you okay? Five, six. I saw. <laughs> what was that? Sorry. I thought you, I'm sorry, I jumped five, it. Six. I jumped it. I'm sorry. I thought it was a height question. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm focused. But, but Go good ahead. to know. We got, we got that? Yes. We got it. Five, Go six. Ahead. You're playing. Mm -hmm. You okay? You recovering? Have you changed the paint job yet? I saw that. I, yeah, I thought she's it talking looked, about, I thought it she's talking about Nick, Nick Cannon. Cannon. Yeah, so. Nick Cannon redid his, repainted his plane, put his face on it to publicize Nick his Cannon. new show. You're, gonna do, you're not going to do that. You're too cool. Well, here's the thing. Oh, Nick Cannon and I, there's a, there's a, there's an ongoing prank war oh. that we've had for quite some time. And I recently put his phone number up on a billboard and I had a bunch of people call his phone. It was a, it was amazing. It was the best, That's like great. a great prank. He sent the llama to my house. <laughs> he sent like 50,000 balloons and filled my house up before. He's done a lot of immature stuff. So his latest, his latest one, he called me and he was asking me for my flight information. He was like, Kev, are you going to the city? And I was actually going to New York, like then, like yeah. the next day. And I was like, yeah. He was like, can I get a ride? I was like, yeah, I don't care, you know that. So I gave him the tail number and everything. And he went and he uh, got a team to let him in there. He wrapped the plane with his face on it. Your plane? Yeah, he wrapped it. He wrapped it with his like face yeah. and it said, Kevin rides the cannon. Extremely immature. Uh, and Where it's do you fine. go from here? I mean, well, how do you creative. go one-up that with pranks? Well, you do. You let it sit. Okay. See, the beauty of prank wars, this is what people yeah. need to understand. Prank wars, it's, it's all about the inconvenience. It's not about malicious behavior. Mm -hmm. It's not about doing, like, mean things. It's, it's about the inconvenience. So how can I inconvenience your day mm. and your world? He caused quite the inconvenience for me. That was an inconvenience, and that's good. Well played. But he's going to forget. He's going to think that it's settled and that the dust is clear, and then I'm going to hit him hard. So it's not over? No, it's not right. over. It's not over until Nick quits and realizes that I'm better at the game than he is. Then it's over. I, we love to watch it. You think I'm From losing to a guy named Nick? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with Nick? What do you mean? A Nick. Nick. I'm not losing to Nick. Yeah. Nick doesn't work. Nick. Nick. Yeah, Nick. Work. It would never work. Doesn't Home work. Alone would have never worked Nick. if the character was Nick. No. <laughs> Nick is stupid. It's failing. The movie's not going to work. Off the back. You got to change the name. We are here because you are doing a spoof on Home Alone. Can you talk a little bit about what you got going on here today? I wouldn't call it a spoof. It's okay. a it's a play on it. Let's okay. let's call it a play. I have the the privilege of working with such an amazing actress, uh, and Catherine, a legend, mm -hmm. uh, someone who's been in the game for a very long time and has memorable material such as Home Alone and being that my name is Kevin. We came up with a great spot uh, for our for our new chase. A new Chase Freedom commercial. Um, great and idea. I think the creatives did a good job. And, mm -hmm. you know, this is a way to keep the campaign exciting, keep it fun, while at the same time giving some important messaging. So this is a, a unique and, and great way to do it. So okay. the Home Alone yeah. play is just a it's just a, a piece and a component. But it's not a spoof. We're not doing a spoof. No, it's a serious yeah. reenactment. There you go. It's some serious. of my give best me, give work. Me, give me a little more. Give me a little bit more mm -hmm. about what we're going to Personally, very proud to be part of a big Christmas movie, and now even prouder to be part of a big Christmas campaign. See what I'm saying? Kevin. You can't, you can't buy this. You can't buy. <laughs> oh, yes, it. you can. Hmm? Oh, yeah. hmm? How much? This is this How here. This can. this well, type much, of. Not much. You can buy it. I have my pride. Professional. A dollar or two per <laughs> syllable. <laughs> Home Alone is one of those movies that I know for me, if it's on, I'm sitting down, I'm watching the whole thing. Yeah. One, two, whatever. For you, do you remember the first time you saw it? Uh, I do. I was actually just coming home from a, 
long walk. With, no, I don't remember. <laughs> it's like, wow. <laughs> Excellent. No, no. Excellent. I don't no. even remember. Just keep story. going with that, that story. Do <laughs> you see how engaged she was? I was, I was like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. He really came prepared. No, it's, you know what it is? Well, That's, uh, no, when I was younger, of course, we saw the movie. I mean, it's one of the biggest movies of all time. Mm -hmm. That was when, um, you know, I think the idea and meaning behind holiday movie really hit for for me because you know when you're younger it's just a movie that's coming on around yeah. Christmas and then as you get older you start to understand that certain movies are released every year around this time yeah. and they're released with the intention and hope of becoming what that was which is yeah. just one of the biggest movies of all time so um you know, I, it was just one of those things where at the time, everybody were taking away the pieces from that movie and reusing it in their in their day-to-day. Right. -day. So I definitely do have a, a fine memory of Home Alone. And to watch a little boy take control mm -hmm. <laughs> and not be frightened and come up with the answers that he needed and survive on his own, yeah. I think it was just so fun for kids to see. We all wanted to be Kevin. I, yeah. I felt like I could do exactly what he did. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah, he not was inspiring. True. Yeah, he was inspired. I did, actually. I did oh. do what he did. Oh, you did? Do tell. Well, it was a situation when I was younger that people came into my home and my parents weren't there and I had to do what I could. Oh, again, is this? No, this is this is real. All you do, if you Google it, Google Kevin Hart defends his place to live. How old were you? I was at the time, if I remember correctly, I was three. Three? Oh, come on. Three. Wow. I was three years old. You defended the house. Hand to hand combat. It was, uh, <laughs> okay. it was something that I didn't even know I had. Lie! I did not know that I had it. I took three men down. You can go Google, Google it. Google. Three. So Google. this was nothing for you. Oh, I mean, here. this was, you know, you've brought back memories. Brought back, brought back yeah. a lot of memories. What do you think Macaulay Culkin would say if he sees this commercial? You think he's going to say, you Why didn't I play Kevin? <laughs> 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 What's with that? Uh, like, it's flattering. <laughs> Right? Yeah. I think it's flattering. I, I hope the day comes where, you know, later on in my career, they're doing some type of play on something that I did uh, at a stage of success. Like, I think that's the biggest compliment that you could ask for. So I think it's flattering. And to have, you know, Kevin come and, and, and play with us, it's, it's, it's big. It's just a nod of, you know, we still remember. Nobody's forgotten. Can you talk a little bit about the campaign? What is the How Do You Cash Back campaign? Oh, I can talk about that. Mm -hmm. How do you cash back? Well, it's a phrase. Uh, I guess you could say a, a, a term, a verb. How would you refer to it now? But it's real. Mm -hmm. uh, cash backing. That's way what of it life. Is. I think it's a way of life. That's, see what I'm saying? <laughs> see what I'm saying? It's a type of partnership that you can't buy. <laughs> right? Yeah, you can. So maybe we, maybe we <laughs> think about just keeping it around. Goodness gracious, it's like I'm always pulling and asking for stuff around here. Uh, no, cash backing, a way of life. Um, understanding how to operate, uh, especially in this world of finance, right? So if there's a way where your money can work for you, you should, you should take advantage of that. And I think Chase is doing an amazing job of presenting that to their, to their customers uh, and also opening up the world for new customers because people can see what's going on. So as a Freedom Unlimited representative, uh, I guess you could say ambassador, mm -hmm. uh, I like that I'm putting messaging um, alongside what, what should be given in this case. So how do you cash back? So like if The Rock or somebody, you know, one of your dear friends. I would never tell friends, him to cash back. Would, I don't like it. I was going to say, if he could get you like a really nice Christmas present and spend even more. And he get wouldn't give me a present. Back. He's selfish he and he kiss no my present. ass. And you ed don't edit that out, okay? Three years, three three holidays I went by and I've got nothing. I've sent him beautiful presents. Really? Like what? I'm like, I haven't sent him anything. I think there's a, there's a, there's a that's why. I think that's why that's, we're not that's getting That's why he's not getting anything. Yeah, you're not giving anything. A, there's a weird Let's change game, that yeah. this He's been bad-mouthing it for years. Yeah, for years. And I, I might have done it. It's not working. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.